Hello students, welcome to Adi Chemistry Online Coaching. I am Adi Chavardhan, the founder of AdiChemistry.com from Varangal. In this presentation, I will introduce you to Crabtree's Catalyst, an organometallic compound that is used to catalyze the hydrogenation reactions of olefins. Throughout this presentation, we will explore its applications along with the mechanism. I hope this information will be useful to both chemistry graduate and postgraduate students. The Crabtree's catalyst is an organoiridium compound. It is a homogeneous catalyst for hydrogenation and hydrogen transfer reactions developed by Robert H. Crabtree in 1970s. The central metal ion is a unipositive iridium ion coordinated to the ligands 1,5-cyclooctadiene, tricyclohexylphosphine and pyridin. The anionic part is hexafluorophosphate ion. The IUPAC name is 1,5-cyclooctadiene, pyridin, tricyclohexylphosphine, iridium-1, hexafluorophosphate. The Crabtree's catalyst is an air-stable orange colored solid. The oxidation number of iridium is plus 1. It is a d 16 electron square planar complex. The iridium ion is coordinated to 1,5-cyclooctadiene, tricyclohexylphosphine and pyridine ligands in a square planar geometry. Since all of the ligands are neutral, there is a plus 1 charge on the complex part which is associated with the hexafluorophosphate ion. The Crabtree's catalyst is employed in hydrogenation of olefins under homogeneous conditions. It is also used in the isomerization of alkenes. It is an industrial standard for isotopic exchange of hydrogen isotopes. The Crabtree's catalyst is an effective hydrogenation catalyst. It effectively catalyzes the hydrogenation of double bonds in mono, di, tri and tetra substituted olefins with very high turnover frequencies. The solvent of choice is dichloromethane. Its efficiency is evident from the table as shown on the screen when compared with the other hydrogenation catalysts like Wilkinson's catalyst, Schrock Osborne catalyst, the Crabtree's catalyst shows higher turnover frequencies even with tri and tetra substituted olefins. You must note that the hydrogenation is seldom possible with Wilkinson's and shock osborne catalysts. Here is a detailed breakdown of the suggested mechanism. Initially, the solvent molecules interact with the iridium metal center either by expanding the coordination sphere or leading to the detachment of a COD ligand. This step prepares the catalyst by creating an active site for subsequent reactions. The next step involves coordination of the substrate olefinic molecule with the central iridium metal ion. It is followed by the oxidative addition of dihydrogen. This involves the cleavage of HH -H bond in molecular hydrogen and coordination of two hydrogen atoms with the iridium ion. In this step, the unipositive iridium ion is oxidized to plus 3 oxidation state. Hence the name oxidative addition. One should note that the substrate enters into the complex before the addition of dihydrogen unlike the case of catalysis with Wilkinson's catalyst. 
Subsequently, there is a migratory insertion of the coordinated hydrogen atom onto the double bond of the olefin substrate. This insertion results in the formation of a new CH bond. Finally, the reductive elimination of hydrogenated olefin occurs with the regeneration of the active catalyst. The second hydrogen is also transferred onto the substrate and in this step, the iridium is reduced back to the plus one state. And remember that this is the proposed mechanism for general understanding only. With the Crabtree's catalyst, the coordinating groups like OH, C double bond O, direct the hydrogenation to achieve desired stereoselectivity, especially in cyclic compounds. The hydrogens are added from the same phase of the directing groups. As in this example, the product with 4 methyl group that is trans to the OH group is the major product. It is because of uh, the hydrogens are added from the same phase of OH group, making the 4 methyl group move to the opposite phase of the OH group. It is worth noting that the other product where the 4 methyl group is cis to the OH group will be the major product if palladium on carbon in ethanol is used as catalyst. The hydrogenation occurs on the same phase as that of the OH group due to coordinative interaction of this group with iridium as shown on the screen. Hydrogens are added from the upper side due to interaction of iridium with the OH group that is above the plane of the ring. Hydrogenation takes place on the same phase as the OH group driven by the coordinative interaction between OH group and iridium as depicted on the screen. Consequently, hydrogens are added from the upper side causing the methyl group to shift to the lower side of the ring. One more important application of Crabtree's catalyst is isomerization of olefins. In this example, the allylic alcohol is isomerized to a ketone due to shifting of a double bond. As already mentioned, the Crabtree's catalyst is an industrial standard for isotopic exchange of hydrogen isotopes exemplified on the screen. In this case, the protium hydrogens at the ortho positions are replaced by deuterium atoms. Recall that deuterium is an isotope of hydrogen atom. Now we will see the limitations of Crabtree's catalyst. Low concentrations of catalyst must be maintained since at high concentrations the catalyst is deactivated due to irreversible formation of polymetallic complexes. This catalyst is sensitive to proton bearing impurities and becomes irreversibly deactivated after about 10 minutes at room temperature signaled by appearance of yellow color. Finally, you should remember that maintaining lower concentrations of Crabtree's catalyst is crucial as it not only avoids formation of polymetallic complexes and also leads to higher levels of diastereo control. Okay, that's all for now. Go visit adhikemistry.com for more information on this topic or search for adhikemistry Crabtree Catalyst and don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can find links to worksheets and other study material in the description section. If you find it difficult to reach them, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments section or drop an email 
to rdcsaradi at gmail.com. My sincere suggestion is to visit brahmakumaris.com to learn Raj Yoga meditation, to awaken your inner divine powers and lead a happy and successful life.